Are you working? What kind of work do you do? Oh. I'm gonna be on Ted out. That's all my eyes can see. Victory is mine. Yeah, surprisingly, I've been laying, waiting for your next mistake. I put in work and watch my status escalate. I'm start hey, scholars, how's it going? So, um, in this question, we're gonna try to find sine and cosine from tangent. Uh, we're given the tangent of some angle theta is negative three, and that this angle is in quadrant four. So when I see that, the first thing I want to do is I want to draw a picture because I like drawing a lot. And uh, and first, the picture I'm going to draw is something to do with the uh, quadrants that we're given. We're given that it's in quadrant four. So I'm going to draw an angle that is in quadrant four. And what I see when I draw that angle is I see that I can create a little triangle with that angle. And what I know is that I know that sine and cosine are the two green lines that I made before. Specifically, sine is not that one. That is incorrect. Um, sine is that side, and cosine is that side. Now, what we're given is tangent instead. Tangent of theta is negative three. But we also know that tangent is opposite over adjacent. Or in this case, um, opposite over adjacent. In other words, sine of theta over cosine of theta. Did you follow that? If you didn't, let's try that again. So we know that tangent of some angle is opposite over adjacent. But we also know that this is sine and this is cosine of that angle. Therefore, tangent of theta is sine over cosine. So we know that tangent of theta is also negative 3. So we can just replace tangent of theta with negative 3. And then that equals sine of theta over cosine of theta. Well, now that we know sin, neg the negative 3 equals sine of theta over cosine of theta, what I would do is I would try to solve this algebraically by cross-multiplying, given that negative 3 is really negative 3 over 1. Well, that's going to give us negative 3 cosine of theta equals sine of theta. Why is that helpful? Well, what I see is that sine of theta now equals something. It doesn't really matter what sine of theta equals. It matters that we have sine of theta by itself. And that's helpful. Especially given that we know, because of Pythagorean theorem, that sine theta squared plus cosine theta squared is going to equal 1 squared. We know that this hypotenuse right here of this unit circle is 1. So therefore, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. We do this weird thing where we draw our uh, squares in, in the middle of the sine theta or the cosine theta. But really, it, this means the same thing as cosine theta squared, and this means the same thing as sine theta squared. Get that? If you don't, well, you'll figure it out. Um, so instead of writing sine of theta, I'm going to replace that with negative 3 cosine of theta. Negative 3 cosine of theta, all of that squared, plus cosine of theta squared equals 1 squared. But we don't need that. Well, well this uh, squared, I'm going to have to distribute over both of these points. Both of these, not points, obviously they're not points, uh, numbers. 
So negative 3 squared is 9. Cosine theta squared, we write like this, weirdly, plus cosine theta squared equals 1. Well, 9 cosine theta squared and 1 cosine theta squared is 10 cosine theta squared equals 1. And therefore, if we divide both sides by 10, we get that cosine theta squared equals 1 over 10. But we're trying to find cosine of theta. So what we're going to do is take the square root of both sides. And we'll get that cosine of theta is equal to the square root of 1 over the square root of 10, which equals 1 over the square root of 10, which if we rationalize that denominator, we get square root of 10 over 10. That's our cosine right here. If we want to find our sine, all we have to do is plug this back in to our first equation. Well, instead of cosine of theta, now we can write square root of 10 over 10. And instead of tangent of theta, we can write negative 3. Now let's try to solve this. This is a simple cross multiplication. Negative 3 times uh, negative square root of 10 over 10 is negative 3 square root of 10 over 10 equals sine of theta. Hey, we have both sine of theta and cosine of theta.